Hello boxy fans, welcome to Boxy Blossy the guys. Yeah 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 If you're not a channel, please click the like and subscribe button right now man. So a lot of people have been kind of asking me How can Jewish take over America man? How can he? He's not American, how can he do that? Why Joshua and water you know and not getting the fight made? They say Joshua and water cannot conquer America until they fight each other. Listen carefully guys, I'm telling you the, the truth right now, I'm gonna keep it simple as possible. Listen, Joshua, the reason why Joshua we take over America if he actually focus on the American market is because of his personality, man. You saw what he did yesterday against uh, Andrew Virginia. I mean, with, with it, what he did with Andrew Virginia, I mean, he gave him his belts, you know what I mean? So, to hold on to, I mean, try out and see. Joshua is a very nice guy. Joshua keeps his rare. Joshua represents his roots. Joshua is a godly man as well. Yeah, Joshua is not a... Is not a a believer in religion, you know what I mean? So, because of something, you know, Joshua is a very spiritual dude as well. You have to understand that, man. Um, the reason why I think Joshua would take over America, and the reason why I think people are drawn to Joshua than they will ever go to join to water is that Joshua is more understandable. Joshua is more, you know, of a of fresh air to talk to, 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 to communicate with. Why John to one on the other hand is a very good guy, nice guy, but as a boxer, people don't actually like how he portrays himself and also his personality is is that of a talk personality. When people look at John to water and how he talks, people don't don't see a professional there. They see a talk wanna be there. So you cannot compare that to one of Joshua who actually don't do the, the trash talking, who actually don't talk shit, who actually does a uh, talk in the ring. And Joshua can switch from good to bad in a minute. When he's in the ring, he's just a different monster. When he's outside the ring, he's a different guy. People like that. I mean, do your job in the ring, and outside the ring, you stay true to yourself. And Joshua is doing that. People will look at Joshua and say, "Where he's acting so fake? He's doing this. He's doing that." You're wasting your time, guys. Wasting your time. Joshua has been like that. Joshua, you yeah, grew up in the street, you know, if you know Joshua, know the, the, the history, you know what I mean, and stuff. So people who do know Joshua, right, from, let's say from the UK, be from the UK to his hometown in Ogun State, you know what I mean, man. So if you don't know Joshua like that, so you just can't understand the guy, the guy keeps us real. The guy has been, always been a nice guy, that always look out for the community and look out for the people around them. Yeah, he's a hustler definitely before and uh, yeah he had a long long way out man but Joshua right now is different he's ready to do damage when he's in the ring like you can see right here no fear in my heart for any man training complete June 1st tomorrow is gonna be fire and uh, look at him and Ruiz Jr looking very friendly right here look at that's a very normal face they I have to say that I'm impressed by Rose Junior. He, he kept it classy, you know what I mean? He kept it professional. You know, man, you know, I expect Rose Junior to come there and start talking rubbish like Jeremy Miller did, but it's not like that. I mean, he, don't, he doesn't have such personality, and the Mexicans should be very proud. Uh, because even if he loses tomorrow and put up a go fight, I think Rose Junior still has, you know, he's still gonna have fans who wanna see him fight next. Joshua kind of uplift your career when you give a good fight, man. Charles Money had a chance to do that, but Charles Money was just too mentally drained to do that. But he tried to redeem himself against Adam Kornacki. That's nice, and I hope he continues to to, to improve. You want to see Charles Martin again? Well, I would like to see Charles Martin fight F.R. Jagba or the Godzilla or not the Awademan, man. Very interesting fight. So, I've told you, I've told you guys. Like I've said before, Joshua is a guy that you can relate to, just a guy you can connect with and, and understand better than John Water. We know has a a very humble background, but tends to have like a talk, 
intense to talk about killing people in the ring and all that stuff, man. I just BS my opinion. I know he's a father. <clears throat> Boston is not a, a gentleman's part when you're in the ring. But let's just go to approach and respect himself. Especially hard professional. You know, because a lot of people look up to you. And uh, if you want to act like a talk, then that's your own fault. Don't expect people to like you or to respect you. If you want to be like that, man. So that's the difference between Joshua and Water. And Joshua, if you focus on American market, is going to take over. All you guys you know that are all LDBC fan girls, you know, I am subscribed to some of you guys' channel. You know, I actually like your content sometimes. When it comes to Joshua, I always see, you know, hatred, and I don't feel like it's that necessary in boxing because you don't know this guy personally, man. It was just a like regular dude, man. So if you've met the guy, you understand what I mean. So give it a below, guy, like the video, and share. You know, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram at BoxingBlockSitter. And as well on Twitter at BoxingBlock. Cheers, everyone. Stay blessed. Stay humble.